His plans will always be greater and more beautiful than your disappointments. And I said the words, I'm giving it to you. And that was the day that everything changed. So when you're content with the now, is when he'll give you your next. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I hope that you're all doing well. Today, we're just gonna sit down and talk. And to be honest with you, I don't fully know what this video is going to be. This is a video that has been on my heart for a while now, and I have put it off for weeks and weeks. And I'll be honest with you, I'm still nervous about filming it. I am nervous to post it, but I was thinking about it, and you know what? I just went through, and I'm still going through, a new season in my life. And that is really hard and can be really scary. And I was like, you know what? There are probably plenty of you out there, I'd bet, that are going through something similar or may go through something similar soon or have recently gone through something similar, whatever the case may be. This video could maybe bring comfort to someone. And even if it just brings comfort to one person and knowing that that person isn't alone, because sometimes it can feel really lonely, to go through a new phase of life, depending on your situation, then it's worth it to make this video. And so without getting too personal, I just kind of wanted to share not necessarily specifics about my new phase of life or whatever you want to call it, um, but more about how I got through it. You know, we've all been there where you make plans for your life, right? And you think, okay, my, my life is going in this direction. And then it's like, actually, we're gonna go in a different direction. You know that Thomas Rhett song? It's like, you make your plans and you hear God laughing? That's kind of what I'm talking about. And that could be about anything. It could be about a job. It could be about where you thought you were gonna live. It could be a relationship. It could be a friendship that you thought you were gonna have forever. It could pertain to so many things. And it's really hard, especially if you're like me, I am a very routine person. I, I don't like change very much. Change is hard. And I want you guys to know that you're not alone in feeling that. And I don't really know the direction that I wanna go with this channel. If I am gonna go in a new direction, I thought about maybe starting a little podcast series where I sit down with you guys just like this and talk about various topics or what's on my mind, maybe bring some of my friends in to talk about things, I don't know. That is a very, very ahead of the game thought, um, but I'm taking the first step with this video, I guess. So again, change, not my thing. Letting go of things that I thought were definite, not my thing. Uh, I mean, whose thing is it really? Nobody, nobody really likes that. Um, and I went through it. I, you know, I went through the, the day after day after day of crying. I went through the sleepless nights. I went through the calling my mom at 2 a.m. on the verge of a panic attack once or twice. I've been through it. And there was one day that everything changed for me. One day I woke up and I sat down and I just prayed. And I, I had been praying. It's not to say this was the first time I had prayed in a long time, but this prayer was different. I sat down and I talked to God like I was talking to a best friend. It was nothing fancy. I didn't try to use big words that sometimes you feel like you have to in a prayer. I sat down and I talked to him like I was talking to my best friend. And I told him everything that I was feeling, everything that I wanted, everything that I didn't want. I let all my hurt out and I just, I literally said the words because I said the prayer out loud and I said the words, I'm giving it to you. And that was the day that everything changed for me. I had this peace that came over me. I had this, this joy that just didn't make sense. And sure, it hasn't been flowers and, and daisies since that day, you know, it hasn't been perfect since then, but it's like night and day. It's like someone flipped a switch, and like I said, I just had 
this peace and it's a peace that can only come from God and listen my intention with this video is not to be preachy it's not to come across as I know better than you I know everything if if you know me you know that that's not ever my intention I hope you know that but I do have some things that I saved here that I think can encourage some of you because it encouraged me some of it are just notes some of them are verses um, but this guys this is what got me through saving the verses writing them down in a notebook going to church spending time in prayer and it's so important that even when you're sad or you're upset that you that you thank God anyway and it's so hard but you thank him for what you have and what you will have because once you pray for what you want right you have faith that you're gonna get it and so you start thanking him for things that you don't even have yet but that you have faith that you know is coming if that made any sense at all so the first thing I will say and this is something that I had to learn myself is that God deconstructs your plans to reconstruct his he'll deconstruct your plans to point you in a whole different direction and again that can go for any situation in life and it sucks it sucks it you essentially have to mourn and again it's a, it varies from situation to situation based on how serious your situation was but you have to mourn what you thought you were gonna have and it literally feels like mourning a death almost because it, it, it kind of is it's the death of something it's the death of the idea that you had for your life or the plans that you had for your life and again I will say it sucks but his plans will always be greater and more beautiful than your disappointments and that's something that really got me through his promises his plans for you are so much better ten a hundred a thousand times better than what you thought was best for you and one of the things I learned in looking through scripture and reading devotionals and stuff is that God is close to the brokenhearted. It's I have it written down. It's Psalm 34:18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those whose spirits have been crushed. He heals those wounds. He will he will come to you and he will do for you what you can't do for yourself. You know, sometimes you can't really count on people the way you thought you could here on earth, but God shows up. He shows up for you and he did for me and here's another one proverbs 19 21 we may make a lot of plans but the lord will do what he has decided the other thing i learned and this is going to sound so cliche but everything happens for a reason but it's so true guys everything good and bad that happens happens for a reason and i remember years ago i was praying about something and i prayed about it a lot and I said, you know, God, I really want this. I have this desire. But I remember saying, if this is not what you want for me, if this is not your plan for my life, take it away from me. And I'm talking, this was five, five years ago, maybe four or five years ago. And I remember saying, take it away from me. And let me tell you, he took it away from me. But he let me have it first. He let me have it for a while. Just to show me that it wasn't what was best for me, like I thought it was. And that was a really big pill to swallow. And getting those things taken away from you is painful. Again, going back to that feeling of mourning. It is painful and it sucks. But Another thing I learned was that God sometimes uses pain. I am not gonna get emotional right now, stop it. Sometimes God uses pain to talk to you and to show you things. And sometimes he takes things away in order to talk to you directly because sometimes things get in the way. Just everything, everything, even small, big, good or bad is for a reason. And if there's something, if there's one thing that you take away from this video, let it be that. Everything 
is for a reason. He makes no mistakes. And something else I wrote down here is a quote. It says, the good thing about past and pain is that when it touches the hand of God, it has no choice but to be touched by purpose because nothing is wasted with him. And that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. And I hope that that makes sense. And so how do you move on, right? How do you get to that feeling of, okay, this is a new beginning. The first thing I will say, let yourself mourn. Go through the pain. You can distract yourself all you want with friends, with family, with going out. But and my mom taught me that she said, when you're home alone and you're crying, oh my gosh, no, with the emotion. We're pulling it together. When you're home alone and you're crying and you're angry and you're sad and whatever those feelings may be, that's when you heal. Sure, your fr my friends and family, oh my God, I wouldn't have been able to heal without them. They play a part too, absolutely. But when you're alone and you let those emotions out, that's, that's where the real healing happens. And again, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna put like a little count somewhere on the screen of how many times I say this. It sucks but you gotta do it. Let yourself mourn. And then, again, depending on how serious your situation is, exit gracefully, focus on you, grow, heal, and don't look back. That's it. That's all you have to do, and it takes time. It happens in stages. I'm in therapy. Never thought I would say that, but I am. Work on yourself. Do what it takes. And probably the biggest pill to swallow, depending on where you are in your healing, moving on journey, is that you can't start your next chapter while you're reading the old one. You gotta let it go. You have to accept, okay, that wasn't for me. Cool, I thought it was, sucks that it's not, but all right, gotta let it go. Gotta look forward because what happens when, you, when you're walking forward but you're looking behind you, you're gonna walk into something. It's not gonna go well, right? You gotta let it go. You gotta stop reading the old chapter and just look at the new one and look at it for real with eyes forward. I said I wasn't gonna preach to you and I feel like I'm preaching a Sunday sermon or something. I don't know what's happening. I hope this is okay. I hope that you guys are liking this video and that I'm not coming across in a bad way. I don't know. And just remember that while we wait, for what we ask God for, while we're waiting, he's working. And somebody told me this, that I never forgot it, but it, I, this is what I'm hanging on to, is that when God sees that you appreciate your now, and that you're happy and content where you are now with what you have, and that you're thankful for it, he will then release your next. So when you're content with the now, is when he'll give you your next. And it takes time, it's not gonna happen overnight. It shouldn't happen overnight. It should take a really long time. Like I said, if, if you're anything like me, letting go and moving on is hard. And it's probably the last time I'll say this in this video, it sucks, but you gotta do it. You gotta feel all the emotions. You gotta do whatever it takes to grow. Come, when you go through hardships, don't come out the same, don't come out worse. It's easier said than done, but try. Come out better, come out stronger. I am not who I was two months ago, a year ago. I feel like a different person, and obviously I'm not a totally different person, but just I, I, I feel how much I have grown mentally, mentally spiritually, emotionally, and I've learned that it's okay to talk about these things. And I have a public platform, you know? I have videos that for some reason people click on them and watch them when I upload them. I don't know why. I appreciate that you do, but I don't know why. But you know what? I, I was like, I, I have to use this public platform for good. And like I said, I feel like I've gone through hell and back the last two months, but I know what brought me comfort and so if I could bring comfort to even one person like I said then this video was worth it remember stay true to who you guys are be the kings and queens that you are and don't settle for anything less and I love you guys thank you for watching and who knows maybe I'll see you soon